Hey everybody, it's Betsy from Story Drawing Skills, and I am trying to figure out how to design my characters when I know nothing about them. So I had this silhouette that was a little bit wonky looking, so I decided to clean it up a little bit and actually draw some of the forms within the silhouette, but then go ahead and blacken it all in anyway, since all I need is the silhouette so that I can start experimenting with what kind of details and shapes are going to go on the inside. So I had this asymmetrical cape thing going that I kind of liked, and tried to split up that first one into as many rectangles as I could, because rectangles were going to be this character's shape. In the second one I got a little more decorative with the armbands, did more of an armor thing, and put some thick fringe on the boots just for some movement. And on this third one, I went for more of a gladiator. Uh, I hate to call it a skirt, but what is it, really? <laughs> and I uh, went back to um, using the cloak shape as going over the character and did more wrappings with um, the arm thing. I was uh, trying to do something that was a little more insect-like. And then on this fifth one, decided to put the cape thing in back again. Uh, and then on this last one, did a little more like patchwork. I was thinking of maybe hides that were stitched together. Not uh, really liking any one of them. I wanted to just incorporate some from some things that I liked from different designs and like bring the best of two worlds together. So these two, I was um, trying to you know fit them together and just take the things that I liked from both and make them merge. But wasn't really loving it, so let's do another one. And that time I put the fringe just in front and still on like the waist piece and brought um, the arm, the right arm back into view and put the cape in the back and tried to do some things with buttons and just was not loving it too much. So, you know, when in doubt, just do another one. So that was my favorite one still, but I just didn't like the boots on that one, so I was still trying to figure out what kind of design to do for the lower half, and trying to figure out how to make it simple enough to draw over and over and over in this comic, but still interesting, and um, so I tried to, you know, different necklaces and uh, different ways to divide up the shirt. Normally I try to have all my designs visible instead of erasing and trying and erasing and trying, but um, it was good enough. And then for the diamond lady, the elemental one, doing the same thing, kind of sketching out the body first so that I just have a clearer silhouette, and I wanted to make her a little more petite, and then put her cloak back on as it would um, drape more naturally on her body and then just fill it all in. Decided to take the um, hood off so that I could do more with um, hairstyles and stuff like that. And again, I'm just dividing up the dark shape into more shapes that could exist within that silhouette. And I wanted to keep the diamond theme kind of strong, or at least have some triangles, lots of angles. So I was working with different robe shapes and just dividing up the space into smaller details, adding on some different hairstyles. And some people can't work this way, like they need to know the personality of the character and their name and what they do and all their backstory and everything, but I'm going at it from a very is visual and shape-based um, process. So if you can't work in this same manner as I can, like don't worry, like everybody has their own uh, thing that they like to, or their own process that they like to follow. I use a lot of inspiration from Pinterest, so I go to Pinterest often and um, look for shapes and things that I might not think of on my own. Went for a little bit of a steampunk touch with the goggles there. 
And then again, I'm just taking like things that I like from those first six and combining them into new variations so that I might get a better outfit than the ones prior to that one. Change the silhouette a little bit at the bottom there. Really wish I hadn't. I started fiddling with the silhouette and it's like, no, if you're going to fiddle with the silhouette, you should have done that when it was silhouette time. Like right now, it should be only filling in the shapes within the silhouette. So if I could go back in time and tell myself something, it would be stop fiddling with the silhouette. <laughs> kind of like those goggles on top with um, the really tall bun. Had kind of a... I don't know, ancient Greek feel maybe? I mean, not the goggles, but the tall bun. And then this really tall one with the hat. Again, trying to refine the silhouette. I had the most trouble with this character though. So that uh, did not make this process very step by step. I think I went back and forth a lot. Starting out with my first six and started to divide up the shape again into clothing. That one was really boring, <laughs> so then I was trying to think of something a little more Asian influenced or possibly Spanish uh, influenced. I tried like a weird coat shape there and taller boots. And then went to take a look at Don Diego from the old Zorro because I remember as a kid really being enamored with um, the really pretty clothes that they got to wear. And also looking up scholars' outfits, but that didn't give me what I wanted, so I had to look up scholars' robe and try to find a few more shape um, influences that I might want to try out. I wasn't really loving anything at this point, so don't get discouraged. Like, just keep going. Every once in a while I look back at my old designs or, you know, the designs for the other characters just so that I can kind of make the shapes similar enough that they look like they come from the same world. But I was really not loving that silhouette, um, so I went back and did another one. So don't be afraid to go back a step. Sometimes you have to go back a step to move two steps forward, you know? So I went back, tried to make it um, really different from the other two. So I was trying a lot of top-heavy silhouettes since the other two are not top heavy. It was looking very, very cowboy though. I wasn't sure I really liked that. So I kind of settled on that big poofy uh, coat thing on top and then tried to give it more of a renaissance sort of a feel. And duplicate it into six again. So we go with round two, try it again. Try to give a little asymmetrical wave to the hat and make like a pointed kind of a poncho with some kind of big necklace or big amulet. And again, a really poofy hat. This one looked uh, a little too cowboy with the like bandana around the neck. Wasn't loving it. So then I tried a similar coat uh, shape to the diamond character and hung off some jewelry there. And whoops, their heads were being cut off, so I had to move them. And here I go fiddling with the hat shapes again, like, I uh, just don't do that. <laughs> I tried a little chevron decoration there, some kind of weaving, short boots this time, but it was still just very Wild West and it was kind of getting away from the feeling of the other two, so that was not cool. And uh, there I go, trying to play with hat shape again, trying to make it more piratey. And then this last one, I was like, oh man, it's my last shot, I gotta do something. And so I just kind of doodled in another design again. Uh, uh, oh, no, it was just bad. Thought a witch hat would help. No, it didn't. Could not save this design. So from those six, though, I still had to kind of figure out, well, i got to keep moving forward. So I have to make a few more 
and start off with one that I kind of liked and try to make it better. So I did some different knee pads, taller boots. You can see kind of how they looked next to the other characters and see which one felt just like if you look at them in a lineup, like which one felt like it belonged. And I guess it was the one on the right, but it was still feeling overworked and not very clear and kind of cluttery. So I wasn't super happy with it, but happy enough. 